So anyway, we are back. Uh, there is a request to showcase some quests that are not really shown on stream as often anymore, but might be useful for people looking to level 1 to 80 or just fresh into ultimate. So I'm going to showcase a couple of proof of concept things and we'll run through uh, two really basic quests that I think it's probably good for newer players to learn to do with very minimal requirements. So what I'm going to do as a proof of concept, I'm just going to make a game on very hard real quick on one person on episode four. The reason I want to show something, it doesn't matter which one of these you pick because you're going to be quitting out of the run before you get to a point where it matters. So I'll choose 4C arbitrarily. Yeah, I'll show you what I do to power level. We haven't done this method in a while, but you could technically do it with casts. So episode 4 XP is really stupid, but one big problem for newer players when they're transitioning difficulties is how do I get really easy gear if I don't have hell and I don't have ATP? So, if you're a cast, and you have no stats, just proc a Confuse Trap. Like, I'm gonna show you that, like, with very minimal effort, I could get all these kills with no equipment. Like, just so chat understands, like, I barely have to do anything, and then I just kill the most HP'd one. So just showcasing with like very minimal, I mean obviously fire traps won't do that much, but I think it simulates me attacking. So like with very minimal movement, I can just kind of clean these guys up easy. And then if you want, like you could just attack. So let's use like a subpar Gafoe example. Let's say I'm using subpar Gafoe. <laughs> How's that? Is that fair for the clear? It's so easy. So anyway, these guys are worth a lot of XP for newer players, and more importantly, if you have something that just rapidly hits, it could be any gun, essentially, just shoot the Rappies as they get up. You can see they have, like, a ton of items. Like, look how much Meseta and random items are occurring. Now just do this repeatedly with more Confused Traps, and just occasionally put down a Fire Trap, because they all take fire damage. So, like, with higher levels, I could just spam Fire Trap and kill them. So if you're looking to do something with fire traps while you're comboing, it's easy to do that. If you shoot your own fire trap, you can hit them. I'm just going to speed up this part. When it's down to one, you're going to have to like put a little more effort in. But essentially, all you really want to do is just repeatedly skip Fuse Trap. You mark a foe OP, pretty much. I mean, it's pretty much like... With very minimal effort, you suddenly have like all these items and potentially armor. So we we got kind of bad luck here. We got mostly items, but like the, the same point applies. Like without me attacking at all, this clear speed would not be any different than if you were playing like a low level character. I have the advantage of having more traps. So when it comes down to just like a couple of them, sure, I'll have to shoot like one of them. But like with very minimal time investment and equipment, you can end up getting a lot of materials and basic text this way. The only thing that will probably be annoying is if you don't have like a melee weapon for this, this can take a while. So I'll showcase like a fast clear of this, I guess. If you have fire traps or more confused traps due to leveling up, then it's just there. How much hit does my rainbow baton have? A lot. I don't think I have it equipped though. Like 65. So like, this is like the slower part of the quest, but these enemies are also really easy to deal with. Like, I could even just do this. Like, let's let's make it more fair. Like, I'm gonna take off my attack speed unit. Like, it just shows that it doesn't really matter too much. You might get hit like a little bit, depending on what weapon you're using. So just do like a two hit combo there. And again, just burn as many traps as you can. When you're lower level, ironically, you end up with more traps because you'll level midway through killing them and basically get a full trap restore. So I'm trying to simulate it as like something you could do. This is very easy to do with the group, especially if you have somebody that's a force, because they basically just spam Gafoe here and then the run is over. But I'm showcasing like a solo cast. I really don't have to try very hard to clear this. And this XP is way higher than anything you would be getting in episode one. So if you don't have like what you need for bosses, 
and you're playing cast like there just got power material randomly this is a good way to potentially get some materials as you go through so some people will reset here once you kill the uh what's it called why can i not pick that up in please i'm being trolled it's here somewhere there it is some people will reset there especially if you're a force because this area takes a little longer to clear um, for the sake of the demonstration i'm going to speed it up a little bit here but you could if you have a disca maybe get some kills here these guys are kind of dangerous to low hp people so when you're feeling more confident or coming back with the group kind of clear it up most people will basically quit the moment you kill this next wave yeah like you can see like there's just so many items it's just easy to get stuff that's like roughly you know your upcoming levels so with like no equipment it is basically possible to win with basic gun kind of deals and maybe we'll do a full video where i demonstrate it and it also just helps to realize that again you'll be leveling nearly constantly because it's episode four especially if you're fresh on the difficulty i would slash lobby right here if you're a new player if you're a new player don't do this don't fight these astarks this is more like if you're with a team and they and they can help you burst with freeze traps then i would do it this is not something i would recommend soloing not this part so you could bait these a little bit and put them in a freeze trap with like very minimal effort so if your team has like a good zalore maybe you could get through with like a four-man group the other stopping point is if you're able to clear those easily because you managed to find a decent gun you basically clear the rappies again yeah without freeze trap astarks are kind of miserable and they do high damage so if you don't have debuffs as well it's just really brutal but none of those other enemies need freeze traps so like the only other point you would maybe consider stopping is if you're a force astarks aren't horrible they're not great but they're not terrible you just throw more fire traps out because it's funny but most people will stop about on this wave so like it's possible to shoot them out of the sky but you need like a really good gun for this like i have lock gun or not lock gun i have less swans so it goes very quickly but most people will stop at that point either the astark you just bail out or you do a like basically a clear once your team feels stronger then by all means uh i would recommend 4b 4a 4b and 4c in the quest list all have this area the same where it becomes different is after this point the warp that's after you kill the next zoo is where the stage changes so again if you're not playing with like a forest this is kind of miserable because these guys will laser you repeatedly and they do a lot of damage if you time your shots really well you can hit them out of the air with vulcans or pistols uh but it's probably better for like if you're with a four no yeah if you're with a forest for them to rebarda if they're close or even just a lingering gofoe will take them out even if it's a low level gofoe does at least stop them from die bombing you the die bombs are the big problem when they die bomb you're not able to hit them so again i had like all those items i could potentially pick up i killed almost predominantly with traps and yes my fire traps are stronger than normal but i also didn't bother attacking like 80 percent of the time so i don't feel like as a proof of concept it's too far off from a standard clear with no gear but yeah all of these random green boxes could potentially be armors and weapons and again if you're playing with the new force you just entered very hard cool maybe something in there is useful so let's let's quit the proof of concept maybe we'll return to this in a separate video uh depending on what people want to see with it but that's a basic idea very fast clear if you even have a mind bag at all uh what's another good quest to do i guess we'll do phantasmal world i'll show you how dumb this is i'm gonna put this on ultimate we'll do like anguish 2 because <laughs> it doesn't matter i mean i can lower it don't get me wrong but you'll you'll do this quest just not on very hard so here's what you'll do you need something that does hell or you need a combination of freeze traps and damage and i'll show you where potentially you have to uh deal with those perform this from a to your mag yeah again there's so like potentially all those green boxes can sell for a lot like mono grinders i think are worth five thousand for sale so if you just want to accumulate a lot of money even just getting a couple of those is like hilarious actually no no i think it's, it's nerfed in the sale in the later version I take that back. I think they nerfed it in later versions. 
but it's still really good armor bonuses. So we're just going to go ahead and equip. I have a Hellray gun. I do this quest all the time off stream. <laughs> Speaking of which, look, just got brave, man. Anyway. Um, so you can see, like, I'm one buttoning these. This is what people will basically do at high level. So a lot of the time you can't even be hit if you're using Hell. Technically, you could try to get away with Megid if you somehow find a decent version, but it's recommended for Hell. I have something that boosts the success rate. So as a cast specifically, you could put a Freeze Trap there to slow them down. Unfortunately, with Anguish, they'll break out of the Freeze pretty quickly. Oh, I was going to say, that's actually really unlucky. To miss the double demons like that, that's actually pretty unlucky. There we go. Much better. More falls, as long as you don't look at them, are pretty easy. If you don't have Zalore, these things can take a while to kill if you're looking to do the ATP route. So if you for some reason decide to do it with as a group, just be aware that those are the things that your team has to Zalore or you're just not going to do damage. Everything else here is just kind of like killing Boomas. But they're really not that hard. And again, I purposely put it on a difficulty way higher than normal to demonstrate that it's like... If you got the right gear for it, it's very easy. When in doubt, just throw freeze traps. Ooh. Oh, that's incredibly unlucky. I think I missed a 65% uh, chance twice there. You've got to be kidding me. I missed it again. Did I put it on normal mode or something? Hope not. There we go. Silliness. I usually walk into that trap, to be honest with you, but if I'm a castle, shoot it. There we go. That's what should have happened the first time. Silliness. Yeah, hell, high hit hell guns are very easy to get for one PD. Yeah, and keep in mind, I've boosted the resistances, so I'm kind of simulating what would happen if you didn't have a V5 unit. So for those not aware, uh, V502 specifically doubles the chance of insta-kill. So I'm simulating them having higher EDK than normal. <laughs> while still doing the run that I want to do. So that's why we're calling it simulated runs. And now you have all these boxes, but they're seabed boxes. So seabed boxes are really, really, really strong. So if you could do this uh, on your difficulty level, you saw there's barely any, there's barely anything that we killed. Welcome to the money zone. So I'm just going to go ahead and twin blaze. So you could get an understanding of how many blue items you're going to see. Oh, look, random luck material. I'm using this to clear a little faster. So basically, in ultimate, think of each of these as around 3,000 uh, per blue box. So if I really wanted to, that's 12,000 Masetta plus, let's say 15, 18. So probably around 20k, I would say, of items. And I just got 20k from the run. That's it. Yeah, I mean, obviously I'm holding like a million items, so I can't fully showcase. But I could do something like dropping my telepipes after I'm done with them pick up more items so people will do these runs specifically to check for uh, really high hit based off of your section id so for example if you are sky id you have a higher chance than average to get a caliber so if you want a 55 60 plus hit caliber on ultimate this is your run because all you're doing is box checks and hey maybe you'll find an armor upgrade as you play and that's it so it's a very, very simple run. The only thing I would just recommend again is if you don't have insta-kill, those Morphos are going to be a problem. Yeah, and the and the length of the run is very short. So from that, I did not mean to quit out there. That's unfortunate. But from the length of the run kind of standpoint, let me go back there and briefly do something. The length of the run is usually short enough that you can also feed your mag, which is what Dango is saying. So rip those telepipes. I was going to go pick those up later. But anyway, let me put away some items, because I just unfortunately just can't hold items. Obviously, don't do box runs with full stuff like what I'm doing here. Just imagine all these as empty slots and get all your money. But yeah, this this one PD investment, a very standard Hell Ray Gun, uh, unlocks the ability to get a bazillion Mesetta and all these other choices. I'm going to go put this away. I still need the Hell Ray Gun for something else that I'm going to showcase. I'm going to try for the first time in a very long time, and definitely first time on stream. Restless Lion. I'm going to use this character and see how I feel about the quest on Ultimate. So another thing that people can do uh, to get through Ultimate 
to get a 50 hit something or other is to bring a hell handgun into this quest. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the quest. I got everything. I won't put it away. We'll showcase a couple of basic quests. So again, that's a very easy quest for money for people looking for money. Sometimes the materials, check your box rare. Some people can get Disco Brave Man, which is fantastic if it runs with hit. That's an endgame item. Uh, otherwise, just probably pick the section ID that will give you something that you need. Yeah, a lot of people will do Sky just because uh, potentially you also could kill things like Morphos for rares. There's not many in the run, but the run is so short. It basically doesn't matter. Thank you, Murphy, for clarifying that. I do not want to do this on A2, actually. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it back down to normal. I need to land my hell very consistently here, so I'd rather not mess around with this quest. Also, it has been a long time since I did it. Hellcleave walked me through it very briefly, but my memory is terrible. Also. That was not one player. But yeah, Chad, if you could think of anything else that would be worth showcasing real quick is like easy one-offs as like either an early ultimate or like very hard mode you can even do the box run in very hard mode honestly it just wants a ton of items it's doable rip the bomber man soundtrack so let's see oh the other quest i was thinking of was warrior's pride We'll start with Warrior's Pride. We'll do just a little taste of it so people understand. This is another quest you could kind of use to cheese. Let me skip all the dialogue. So we'll just do the beginning part of it. I'm not looking to do the full quest. If you want to do the full quest, by all means. But essentially, you need to go around and collect NPCs, from what I remember. So yeah, this is a quest where you can just have a teammate at high level join you. Like, you can see an ultimate, he's 174. So if you're playing with, like, a force, for example, you could potentially have them healing people constantly. And I believe we're looking for a ranger before we begin. Where's he going to stop me when I go this way? We'll see in a moment. Alright, so he's going to stop me. Just need to remember where he is. If chat remembers where he is, that'd be great. Once we pick him up, I think the quest could begin. Also, I could check my items since I'm here. Just want to make sure I'm fully stocked. Don't need any of those. Always do a quick check for 50 hits. Nothing of interest there. Okay. So once we pick up the ranger, we should be good to go. And make sure he's not in the nurse's office or something silly. Oh, uh, we can't take her with you. Okay. I was also confirming. I did remember there was an NPC in there, but that's fine. Where is Bernie? He's a ranger. He's a Ramar. I thought he just triggered to automatically join you. The beginning of the quest I don't remember so well. It has been many years since I touched this quest. Oh, he was over there. Good call. I think you need to get Ash first or else he doesn't talk to you. So now potentially you could see like I'm 180, but even in ultimate he's joining at 170 plus. So if you have like Restas, you literally just lure them into enemies and they'll do all the work for you. So like I'll give an example. Like, he's not going to do crazy damage, but if all you want to do is just kind of confuse trap and, like, wreak havoc, as it were, it's kind of like playing with the party. The downside is the AI is a little dumb, so if you don't have a consistent way to heal them, it's not the best. So this is probably a little better if you're playing with, like, Humar Overcast. You could try to save them with, like, Star Atomizers, but that's kind of expensive. Their damage isn't great, but they are really good decoys. So just showcasing a little bit of the quest. 
Yeah, indeed. So you can see, like, if I leave them alone, they do decent damage. And then I could just kill steal. Yeah, it's definitely recommended whenever you have quests with NPCs, bring somebody with Resta. So again, if you're playing Humar or playing Ramar, Ramarl, Force, you basically have two big dummies that don't really take away your XP because they're pretty easy to kill steal. I mean, you can see they're not doing like insane damage. But again, this is all this time I'm allowed to just walk around and not do anything. So I just wanted to showcase a little bit at the beginning of the quest. They also give uh, guaranteed items during one of the cutscenes, which is pretty useful for restocking. I think they give you uh, fluids if you're a force, for example. So it's it's not bad even just for just clearing in general. So if you're not used to episode four and you're looking to just kind of touch it a little bit and don't care about resetting, probably just do stuff like this for a little bit. It's not gonna be like the craziest XP ever, but just be aware. So anyway, that's one way you could kind of cheese things if you are really struggling. You can also see over there, there's a ton, a ton of items. So again, like there's a lot of ways you could potentially get some easy boxes. So I might as well just kill my way over there just to showcase. So again, if you're just looking for easy fodder, the other quest is better when you can solo. Once you deal with the laser gates, remember to come back to this room. Yeah, it's a very safe quest. And again, they'll face tank Astark for you. They'll even heal each other to an extent. There is a limitation on their healing though. So eventually they will just stop healing. I think they genuinely run out of TP. Or they have a limitation in the code that cuts them off. So you can see like I didn't heal them, but they're back at full kind of deal. So let's at least witness the cutscene, I guess. So they give you options to do where you want to go. But I'll just showcase. So you just kind of come over here and just be like, oh, well, all these boxes. <laughs> so, so sometimes when I'm really bored, I just reset there and just open the boxes. And again, some people have really good box rares on ultimate or very hard. So just take a look at the box rares. And just kind of clean up the quests as you go along. Nothing too crazy here, sadly. Hey, elf farm would be useful if I didn't have any accuracy units. Yeah, you know, just showcasing just a teeny, teeny, tiny little bit of it. And again, it's just kind of a follow the path kind of scenario. You could take them to other locations, but I just want to do a little thing. There's just a little little snippet as an alternative. That's a little easier to do, I would say, with non-casts. Uh, from the standpoint of the next quest, if you have your Hell Ray gun from earlier and you were doing seabed runs, you could also do this quest instead. So let's say you're looking for like a really strong, I don't know, like charge weapon or just like generic 50 hitters. This is kind of the quest for you. So I don't think I need to talk to anybody in this one, fortunately. I'm going to skip your dialogue and not important. So we're going to go ahead and uh, Hellray Gun. Sorry, Principal. I don't think I really care what you want me to do. We basically just need to get into the crater and we should be good to go. Or excuse me, desert. It's a crater out of habit there. So the reason you want to bring hell is that there's a lot of enemies that try to ambush you as you go forward. And if you hell them, it just one shots them and saves a lot of time. Now this area is a bit more dangerous. This is more recommended when you're a bit more leveled or at least feel more comfortable with episode four. Uh, I guess I could showcase that you could kind of hell everything to death if you really want to. So Hell will still cheese the Rappies at least. Check my Rappies real quick. Oh, look at that. Razan level 29. Look how easy that was, chat. That could happen to you on Ultimate if you did that massive attack quest. Could you imagine? Wasn't that easy? Level 29 spell chat? Zero effort. <laughs> so anyway, something bad should happen when I go to touch this. Oops. Ooh, he's dodging me. What a pro. Well, anyway, he's here to be annoying. Funny enough, the enemies, I believe, can hit him. <sighs> he's gonna be trolling. I'll kill the Rappy, though. I might as well as. Alright, don't maybe freeze trap you. You're being annoying. 
Mika, indeed. Listen, chat, when Hell doesn't want to activate, freeze him out. <laughs> this special, no normals, that's fair. So anyway, when he dies... You have an option to loot the body. But unfortunately, I don't have a lot of space. Why don't we drop... Evade materials. And let me also telepipe so I can pick these up. Showcase chat. So he dropped a random item. It's an Arrest Gladius with 50 hit, 50 dark, 50 native. <laughs> I mean, like... This is what you could be getting. It takes, like, no time. Let me go put away these materials so I can actually equip items. I'm used to doing TTF where I don't want to stop to inventory manage, but for this quest, I'll do it. So anyway, I now have an arrest item, so if I just want to paralyze Dwarfon or something randomly, I guess I could go do that. <laughs> anyway, back to Hellraygon. The only downside is trying to remember where the zoos are. The rest of the enemy types I don't think I super care about. Hmm, too much EDK on ultimate, sadly. Not till the end, thank you, Hellcleave. I know they show up at some point. I'll take some damage here, this is fine. These enemies can also be kind of annoying. He doesn't like my attitude. Let's bait him into getting hit by the Marissa. Anyway, let's see if we could get him to die to that. I got him already, never mind. Well, anyway, Marissa can freeze him. We can also freeze that one if we need to. Oh, see, he's getting bullied by Marissa. You go, Marissa. You're on my side now. Oh, Marissa, don't whip him. Just hit him. It's fine. It'll be fine. It's funny. I want Marissa to kill him so bad, chat. One day it'll land. What do you foey be? Freeze him. Oh, never mind. We we got unbelievable, unbelievable slash god him. Anyway. Yeah, so potentially, honestly, the 30 hit weapons are not too bad. But again, this quest is a little harder to do start to finish without at least a hell gun. And it requires some familiarity. But this is not like a bad early quest to do if you truly, truly do not want to play a uh, trade with people. Oh, I thought for sure we we're gonna get good. I'm gonna confuse trap here. Thank you, confuse trap. Okay, so let's go see what they dropped. Berserk laser, oh no hit percentage. Gush striker, there you go. Chat giving additional details on the quest. You use it to start your box farming and ultimate looping it for ultimate restless line, exactly. It's one of those ones where like just having like a little better gear will help. And potentially either through box farming or whatever. You'll end up with what you need. Oh. What a convenient way to restore free straps for people that are lower level. How thoughtful of them, chat. Well, anyway, you'll basically kill an enemy that has the same bonuses, or same weapon. So if you see somebody using a big sword, they'll drop caliber. Yeah, people do want Caliber fodder for Parasitic Gene Flow. That pays into itself. It, again, it's not a quest I do super often, so sorry about the rust. I think I did it... Like, 2020? Maybe? It's been a long time. It was one I recall chat mentioning on stream. I did it, like, once or twice, so I was like, okay. It's nice, but if I have all my 50 hits, it doesn't really matter. But potentially, it could be useful for, uh... 
rounding out my accessories. Freeze trap, you were slightly too slow. It's fine. You can see I'm just switching to melee. Lots of bummer man music going on. I'll cleave more talking about the market economics. That's always a good way. Again, like, if you just want to get ahead, you gotta play the market. I mean, it's what it comes down to. Me, I mostly took my time. I found most of my own rares originally. But then I'm like, do I really want to find 14 of them <laughs> for certain characters? Like, it's cool that I self-found it once, but after that, I don't know. Like, I still have all my original Hell equipment on my Ramar. He's like the character, he has his own bag. Pretty much nothing he uses is from any other player. He's the closest to self-found start to finish that I have. But it's one of those things where it's like, I did it once, it's nice. Don't need to do it again. I want them to get up to his power level or higher. It doesn't make sense to spend like 300 something hours for character. I'm sorry, just to get every item self-bound. There we go, get rid of Marissa. I really like Last Swan, honestly. That's one of those things you could pick up from Photon Crystals. That's kind of nice. Oh, look at them, they're bullying him for me. You know, I might not even need to do anything if they keep bullying him. Look at them go. Look, they're doing my job for me, chat. Look at them try. Look at that, now I can just pick them off one by one. That's cute. I mean, I'll slowly whittle them down. Yeah, they're talking about the economy of the fact that it takes 99 photon drops to sphere, which is quite a lot. The hell whiffing. Let's kill the Goron, actually. Get him out of here. So there's a chance for me to get a hell gun from this character. As you can see, they're using a pistol. And again, if they start bothering me, we just let them get deleted by Marissa. Thank you, Marissa. You're so good to me. Anyway, just showcasing, you can get them trolled. Results are not within expected parameters. I don't know about that. That felt pretty expected. Chad explaining that if you get a high hit caliber with, let's say, 50 dark and 50 a beast, if you go to use the parasitic gene flow item to make a weapon called the dark flow, you end up with a very strong endgame hunter weapon, but the problem is, getting the weapon base, as well as farming it, is not easy for new players. So let's go pick up the items. So she didn't have a handgun. If we're lucky, this is just going to be a 50 hit hell gun. We'll see though. Gush ray gun, no hit. Unfortunate. I feel like the game over sound effect for Bomberman applied very aptly there. That was kind of a whiff. I agree, random Bomberman soundtrack. Burning arms, disappointing. So this could also be your charge arm, for example, or a berserk arm for people that are looking to become a ranger. Technically, if we got a high hit on the berserk laser, that would have been pretty good. I'll take the arrest gladius, though. Hmm... Everything set up to care of principal hunters, of course. There we go. Well, I guess we see the switch to the future. Yeah, it's just a cutscene, unfortunately. But setting up a gimmick for later. 
Yeah, I would say just push through. And then if you get a little bit of assistance, whether through just casuals or whatever, it should be fine. Uh, Hellcleave warned me. We can't actually kill that character until the light is on. Bad news for them. <laughs> Priest Trap doesn't care about what they have. So I guess if we want daggers, if you like daggers, you get anything fun. Spirit Ripper? That's unfortunate. Any other stuff y'all make to Freddy's and try to farm not I'll trade him. Yeah, some people will just make multiple of the same character across different section IDs. So if they're just doing different hunts, you're like, oh, I really like the Ranger, but I can't do this. Then it's fine. Yeah, you're not really going to get a huge amount of, like, box rare, so I don't know if I'd really consider that while doing this quest. I guess you could take a look at the overall number of enemies killed if you just wanted to say, like, hey, maybe Power Goron if I want, like, I don't know, Yashminikov or Slicer Fanatic. I'll pick, like, purple and white ID or something just to maybe get a little extra out of it. I guess in theory you could do stuff like that. Red ID will typically get, like, Disco Bray Man. There's not too many Goron detonators. But there's the caliber we're looking for. Did you dodge the freeze trap? What a god. Your iframes are unreal. Well, anyway, this in theory could be your 50 hit caliber. Let's see if it rolled with anything fun. Uh, a beast machine, but no hit percentage. So sad. So anyway, you would reset there, I guess, potentially, if all you're looking for is the caliber. But uh, I guess I'll finish this run out. Just to showcase what other items are here. So we would get in that standard run a pistol, which is useful, as well as the caliber chance. There are other ways and other items we can get. So if we want a good slicer, for example... I kind of feel bad for him. We just kind of walk up and one-shot them. Oh, your EDK is too high. Yeah, unfortunately, Hugh Conceal has the accuracy, but not the damage of, like, a Hugh Cast. So I'm able to land Hell very easily here. I have a little more struggle killing some of these. So there's a Partisan, in case you're looking for one. He just got eliminated from existence. True story. Yeah, you might as well just continue to the end. Kill these. Because we have not experienced all the weapon types yet. Oh, I was hoping the Rappy would wake up. There we go. Go out of the Rappy assistance, wake it up. I like how they announce their presence very kindly for me, so I could just pick them off like this. I can't believe, chat. I mean, if they'd stayed quiet, maybe they could have ambushed me. I'm just saying. So sadly, a force weapon, those are not usually any good. I come back for the quest for charge, shall I berserk arms? Maybe. Oh, I'm out of space. Uh, I'll chuck most of these then. Most of them are kind of booty. I don't feel like selling items today. <laughs> Their comrades died for nothing. No, so you have to be very careful what specials to put on weapons. Ooh, speaking of which, that was kind of a whiff. I didn't even get an interesting special on those weapons. That's unfortunate. So a lot of weapons have reduced uh, efficiency. So things like Held and Freeze, for example, don't work well on multi-hit weapons. So that's why you'll see people focus it on Laser or Pistol, since it won't get reduced. Uh, there's some where it doesn't matter as much. But generally, those are considered more subpar than anything else. You can just bonk them in the face with that, why not? Although, I'm not gonna lie, having all those items really messes up my menuing. Yeah. 
there are, as Chad is saying, you could do challenge mode and spend a lot of PDs in order to get things like demon mech guns, which would allow you to get unreduced demons, for example. So nine shots of three quarters health. Basically puts them all within kill range. Doesn't really matter what the target is if you can land it. And you could even do some accuracy glitches on some of those weapons, for example. Make sure that even if you don't normally land the first hit, you can land a set of this next. Things like that. Get rid of you. Uh, the Goron Detonator. Oh, I thought he was going to be frozen. I would have dodged if I thought I wasn't in range. That's unfortunate. Must have been just outside the range. Just kill him with last swan. It'll be fine. Um... Castle Mag Blast? Friend is considered a rifle, so it's not reduced much. I don't think that's how that works, Tango. It's more unreduced by their position in the hex address of the item table. It's kind of arbitrary. There's some that are like lower star that are unreduced and it's weird. Just because they're before or after a certain item. There's not really a good rhyme or reason to it. You would think it would be like, oh, it has to be X number of stars for it to be unreduced, but that's not how it works in PSO. Just arbitrary. <laughs> Or Jimmy, Tina, and Al. Anyway, happy victory music as we walk away from all their corpses. I mean, I guess I'll restore my traps. Yeah, the big down... Exactly. Murphy just nailed it. Yeah, the big downside is this not a rest. So that lower percent chance of special landing is kind of unfortunate. Oh no, they let their guard down. Hey, that looks like my other character almost. Rip that guy, I guess. Oh, look, look how smug he is. Don't mind me. Let's see, they showed me where the trap was, or the switch was. Back here, right? Thought it was in the corner. Well, we're gonna play find the switch. Oh, Cleve, where was the switch? I thought it was against the far wall. We saw it from the other room, I think. I just don't see it lighting up on my camera for some reason. Although, funny enough, I wonder if I could just kill him with damage. Same wall as door. Oh, now I see it, now I see it. it was, oh, it's on the other side. That's unfortunate. It's interesting you could step on that for a little bit of light, out, light up, though. Take this. There we go. So I was kind of right. It was against the far wall. I just didn't see it due to the, I think, the pillar. Oh, well. Anyway, we murdered all those people for some reason. What's the plot? Who knows? Hello, Zoo. Goodbye, Zoo. Oh, power material. Let's love to have those. Yeah, we'll take... Girasol here, even though it's not. Oh, there's two of them. Well, time to twin blaze. I've had enough. I'm gonna do that one more time. I didn't get a good shot on them. That's good. 
Thank you, ridiculously angled pistol. Last room problems, you know. <laughs> I love the zoom melting into it. Bye, character who's probably important in the lore. Let's see, any fun calibers? Oh, uh, native native AVs, 50% would have been kind of funny there. Gush Vulcan, oof. Unfortunate. The attributes matter for force weapons? No. Unless, unless you like pretty numbers, they don't do anything for text. I don't think any- I think those are the only important drops, so I, I could just quit the quest. I don't even have to clear it, technically. Yeah, it's just a reflex. Let's see if there's anything else I really want to do in this room. I don't think so. But look, we could have been- we were there when we spied on the cutscene. Oh, that makes sense now. Oh, I thought the room was further south. That makes more sense now. Anyway, I'm just gonna quit out because I don't care about the item. I could just telepipe out now if I want to. I guess for the sake of handing in the quest, I'll talk to Terrell. Anyway, we murdered them all. Rip the enemies. Unbelievable. You did well. Anyway, we're gonna throw away most of these items. I might keep the Arrest Gladius more just to say this character acquired one. Stream lagging getting worse. I think the stream spawned on my end. Sorry you're having issues on yours. So yeah, chat. Uh, hopefully you have anything else I should showcase for newer players. I mean, those are the basics. I do a lot of Massive Attack C, like, way back in the day. If you look at my older videos, that was, like, the quest to do. Oh, I feel like I put away the... Oh, I did put the other one away. Yeah, so sadly only got a couple things with hit, which is unfortunate. Earth 1 Brownie is the only force weapon that cares about attributes. Oof. Not what I would consider a meta pick. You check one more time for 50 hits. Sometimes you might see something in there that's funny. That's about it, says Health Leave. Yeah, I think those are the ones that, I mean, most people know to do like towards the future. If you're in a group, Respective Tomorrow is there. Just kind of like, those are the main basics. Yeah, yeah, you'll show me next mission. The money, not really worth it there. So I think that's it in just showcasing the, the main ones. So we'll, we'll cut the video there. So apologies for the quality of the quest playthrough, but hopefully the discussions throughout were useful. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube from this standpoint. So if we find any more to add, we'll probably do a run in the future showcasing the proof of concepts into actual start to finish with new characters, maybe. But that really just depends on what the interest of Twitch chat is and YouTube. So if you are interested, please put a comment in this video so I could get an understanding of whether or not it's worth putting the time and effort into that. Otherwise, I guess see you again in the next part.